Uh, one of the first things that I'm sensing here for Aquarius females specifically is I see a lot of social um, engagements that are going to be coming through for you for November. I see small trinkets, small gifts um, coming from other people to you. Specifically like flowers and you know little knickknacks like pretty shiny things and uh, I'm seeing gems, um, jewelry and some as well coming from you to other people. So there are some really exciting social uh, engagements that are going to make you very happy. I see extravagant like social outings and uh, a lot of trinkets coming through. Okay. And um, I feel that uh, for a lot of you there is a, a significant um, if you are, you know, who you're Aquarius females, if you are dating, there is a significant person. And they're saying this is somebody who is very established. And um, I don't know why, but I feel like um, it's a it's a man coming from a distance. So there might be some geographical distance between the two of you. I do see communication like um, uh, a lot of rapid communication back and forth through social media, through text, through, you know, just, um, but I feel like it's a significant person. It's not like, you know, you're scattering your energy between multiple suitors. I feel that it, it, it is specifically with one person. For Aquarius males out there, uh, what I'm getting is, um, you know, like, um, some family things that are coming through that you need to, to take care of, uh, people within your family, are demanding some of your attention um, there might be assistance needed coming through there's worries I feel a little bit of like housing worries um, so wherever you're living the living arrangement might not be stable might not be as um, stable as you'd like people going and people leaving and coming back in so there's a lot of like I, I feel like a little bit of a chaotic energy in your living arrangement for males and females okay and um, you're you might be even be contemplating like is this a, a good place for me to stay and how long realistically I can stay there so there's that energy coming through with your living arrangement and also your family unit um, I see a lot of you are contemplating travel so there's like a short distance travel I don't feel you're going overseas I feel that you're going to a an area that is near water uh, there's something here about a trip taken near water, so that's coming through as well. And um, I do feel it's going to bring a burst of new energy for you, and it's going to be very, very fruitful for a lot of you male and females, okay? Uh, what I'm also feeling is I don't see uh, any problems with, um, with travel, travel arrangements. Everything's going to be smoothed out, and it's going to be, you know, a very fruitful voyage, um, for others of you, I feel like you are still dealing with an ex, okay? And um, an ex that is coming through and who is a little bit hostile. So I feel some jealousy coming through from an ex because you are with somebody and you have like a significant, you know, person in mind that you really care for on the romantic level. And there's a lot of reciprocity. So I feel like there is that jealousy coming through from an ex. Um, I feel that you it is best for you not to re-engage with this person because I feel they are emotionally irrational at this point. There is something here about rage and jealousy. Best not to re-engage in it. Give them some time to cool off and, you know, just um, do your thing, okay? Exes are in the past for a reason, and especially if you have somebody significant in mind, there's just no reason to re-engage with the past. Um, don't bring that energy and let it affect your current relationship, okay? Um, I'm also feeling that some of you are really financially, this is a big, big financial month for you. If you have a choice, um, I would say try to do the, the traveling and things like that. If you can help it, try to do that next month because I feel like you want to stay put to reap the financial opportunities that are made available to you for this month. What I'm also feeling as well, I see some problematic news coming through from exes. Um, I do feel as well when it comes to vehicles, like um, if, if you're like traveling by air, like by boat, whatever, that's fine. I don't feel there's problems with that. 
but they're saying something here about car issues so you know minimize driving as much as you can there's some bad news um, like expenditures regarding a car issue so keep that in mind and um, you know buffer yourself accordingly minimizing driving or at least have some money saved up so that you can take care of this I feel that it's gonna you know cost about three four hundred or so to to get that fixed or to get that situation sorted out um, they say there is some communication coming through that is um, going to keep you in limbo regarding some vehicle issues okay so um, be careful with speeding be just be careful when driving like on land in your vehicle or you know a vehicle as well so let's go into your reading here the first cluster so this is you know the same format that I've been doing I just lay the cards out because these are smaller and they all fit on camera so the first cluster here deals with the strength card and the five of wands the strength card is a card about being resilient okay this is kind of like um, I, I guess like you know rather than cutting somebody down it is really um, in your best interest to try to I would say like manipulate a situation but not in a bad way it's sort of like um, finding a smart way to get your enemies to come on board with you so that can be um, understanding where they're coming from so that you can spin a situation in your favor to accommodate them okay but I don't feel there's deceptions or lies or any trickery uh, involved here it's just about you know finding the weak points exploiting that and you know getting other people to see what you're seeing so there is a conflict here and for a lot of you it might be with a fire sign because of the wands energy it's the five of wands which indicates you know breakdown in some type of communication not agreeing with somebody and things like that a lot of you might also have been um, dealing in some type of competitive sport you might be betting you might be like betting on games you might also be physically playing a specific sport and I do feel you want to be very careful about overexertion because um, the strength card is also a card about health so there is something here for those of you who are athletes regarding you know overexertion um, possibly like injuries and things like that coming through okay so keep that in mind stretch do proper stretches and don't overexert when you are exercising or doing anything like physically strenuous especially pertaining to sporting events be careful about betting don't bet more than you're willing to lose because I do feel this is just not a great time for risky endeavor so that can be betting so know you know the stats do your research before you put any amount of money up for bets um, what I'm also feeling here is um, if you are dealing with a fire sign who has been a little bit like um, I, I guess like you know you, you've been getting some type of uh, news back and forth between you and this fire sign so Sagittarius Aries or Leo few people are looking to you for a lot of um, for your expertise for those of you who are working um, like you know nine to five and working for another person I do see an element here where you are looking at other financial options you might think about like um, where you are right now yes there's a lot of financial abundance I feel that but you might be thinking about like you know uh, where else can I like um, apply so that I can get a better financial outcome and also I can build up a career over time so I feel for a lot of you um, majority of you might have side gigs where you are um, self-employed and then especially for those of you who are working right now you're projecting you know five six years down the future like down the line into the future excuse me and you might be thinking that like yes I'm making a lot of money right now but how stable is it so your your aim is financial stability and um, you're possibly flirting with the idea of let me apply for some jobs just to see what's out there so I see you curious and I see you browsing just to see what else is available out there because you want a career you're in a very very serious mindset right now where you want a career track you want a relationship that has you know marriage potential you're thinking about you know retirement you're thinking about savings and you're thinking about that nest egg that will allow you to travel when you are retired so 
there's a lot of serious thoughts about, you know, long-term planning, which is great. And um, I do sense that overall, you know, financially, especially for self-employed people, you're going to be in very, very high demand. I do see it's like a month where you're hitting the ground running and there's not going to be a lot of time, um, you know, for wasted this month. You're constantly, I see a lot of energy, like kinetic energy where you're shifting from one place to the next, almost like living out of a suitcase, it feels. So there's a lot of events planned, especially for women, and there's a lot of outings and things like that. And I feel for men, a lot of um, just, you know, travel back and forth and things like that. Now, in terms of your advice, we have the Knight of Rods. And the Knight of Rods, this is a fire sign, a um, Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries. This is somebody that is bringing in a lot of um, good news coming your way, like a lot of good news, positive energies. And they're bringing with them as well, like, um, I, I'm feeling like the way that these cards are falling out. This is somebody that is trying to prove themselves to you for some reason, okay? Um, so this is a... Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And I do feel that what's going on here is they want to prove themselves to you and they're pretty relentless. So the way that you're showing up here is the person in control, in command of their uh, of your feelings, your emotions, your life. You're somebody who is kind of like this person sees is putting you on a pedestal. They see you as somebody who has great command, great control, great intelligence, and you know exactly what you're doing. And they f want to form almost like a partnership with you. So you have a fire sign here that is trying their best to formulate, you know, like to to figure out a, a course of um, like a a a course of plans. So you're, I, I see you sitting with this person itemizing some things like you know let's do this let's do that and look at all these opportunities and I feel like they're very sincere and I feel that you know in whatever capacity if it's a work situation they're coming through and they might ask you you know for advice they might ask you for to trust them so I keep seeing that and I, I feel that it's going to be very very good for you any partnership that is planned for this month especially with a fire sign Sagittarius Leo Aries is going to pan out very very wonderfully any partnerships that you are hoping to to form especially with an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn it is going to work out but it's going to be very slow mainly because I feel that they need more training whereas the fire sign has like the um the the foundation already laid out okay so that's what I'm sensing for you guys let's go into your love reading here so it seems like it's going to be a very strong uh financial month let's try to stay put okay So we see for Aquarius, Love, Romance, Relationship, November Wow, so you have some really strong, you have some really strong, amazing cards here. This is a really good spread overall. Uh, the cards are, they're echoing the same themes, and I feel like there is, a lot of you have somebody uh, quite significant, okay? So let me just um, 
go over this reading here. I'm going to start with this first card here uh, underneath the, the deck, okay? Because um, I feel like... Well, actually, let's start with the past because I feel like a lot of you have been through so much pain and disappointment in the past. And at this point, you are redefining the people that you interact with. You are redefining what being in a relationship really means. So I feel like you have somebody new that is showing you a better way to be a relationship partner. And I feel like a lot of you are um, are changing direction. So let, let's just talk about this. Um, first of all, we have here the Nine of Wands. And um, in this deck, this is somebody who's been through the ringer. They've got a lot of battle scars. And um, at this point, like, you know, there there's that tree in the pit of their stomach, which means uh, a lot of wisdom that is accumulated through uh, life experience. So regardless of no, like how, how no matter what age you are, I feel that, you know, the last few years, you both, you, most of you have been through some type of uh, really intense karmic relationships that have either tested your ability to love or tested your ability to trust or have really tested your patience. And um, I feel for a lot of you, especially if you have stuck it out with a partner, and have uh, broken up regardless of you know how how much you you wanted things to work out. I feel that some karmic relationship has ended, and as a result of it, you were left, um, you know, like you you were left broken. You healed yourself. You did a lot of work in order to overcome that pain, that heartache, overcome that disappointment, and to vow. Like I see you vowing to yourself that you know I'm not gonna. I'm not going to um, be so naive, I feel. And then for others of you, you're just like, I know I've been through a lot and I know what I want now because your heart chakra is open. You can see he's got like that little door to his heart. So I feel overall, this is the state that you were in in the past. You came to love relationships a little bit jaded. And um, you came to love relationships like um, with one foot out the door. Okay, one foot out the door and you needed the other person to prove to you they're worth it before you invest yourself. And that's great. And I feel that, you know, on the one hand, you still want and love and relationships and you still do believe that you, you can find the right person. Uh, on the other hand, you're still, you know, approaching it in a very baby step type of way. What's linked up with it here is the seven of wands. And um, I feel in the past, right, you trusted your gut instincts. Um, you might have dated somebody, right, that no one approved of. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. The relationship is between, you know, the two people that are involved. External parties will always chime in and give their two cents, but it's ultimately not their business. And I feel like you you were dating somebody and, and um, there were a lot of, like, um, other people interfering in the relationship here and you stood you, like you defended that person you stood up for that person you love that person unconditionally even despite all of these things you're hearing about a person and I feel that that can go one of two ways the relationship disbanded and then other people told you I told you so or you might have just arrived at the conclusion that you know I defended this person and for some reason I feel like um, they 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 didn't do the same for you so i feel it was you know the like the the relationship i feel like it wasn't all bad but the fact that they couldn't give you whatever you gave to them they couldn't stand up for you the way that you stood up for them and they couldn't sacrifice themselves the way that you sacrificed for them it was a big eye opener and it was it was painful but i i think like it revealed to you that the other person just probably didn't love you as much as you know you deserved and as a result of it I feel like a few of you might have gone through you know a few relationships like that and now you're just like I'm done I'm gonna you know have one foot out the door when ready to bounce because I've been hurt so which brings us to this card here we have here the ace of cups and the I'm sorry this is uh, the page of cups 
So the Page of Cups indicates a situation where we are starting to like uh, let down our defen defenses. We are starting to feel um, love and attraction and affection for another person. So whatever the beginning of that past relationship was, you're starting to feel it again. And on the one hand, it feels nice. You have this, you know, butterflies in your stomach. You want to give the best of yourself to the relationship. And you feel like, I really like this person and I feel that they're solid and they're legitimate. So I don't want to be scared and, you know, have one foot out the door. And a lot of you are really, you know, kind of swept away by a new person. So you're trying your best to like um, let go of that you know pain from the past so that you can open yourself fully to this new love relationship. And it's great because I feel like the, the relationship is very um, reciprocal. So there's a lot of communication I feel back and forth between you and the other person. I feel the communication, emotional communication is great. There's emotional chemistry, there's physical chemistry. And overall, it's somebody that is somebody that's going to restore your faith in love and life and humanity. This is a very good match for you and I feel specifically, you know, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, um I, I feel more Aquarian Aquarian um interaction. So this seems to me to be very positive, especially if you've been through a series of bad relationships, okay, where you gave so much of yourself, and then they likewise, I feel like they're on the same boat, so you're, you're kind of like crashing into each other, and you're helping each other restore your, your faith in people, and I feel it's a very overly optimistic, overly abundant energy. There is almost like, um, you know, the, usually when I see the luminaries, I think about astrology, so there's a lot of compatibility here. There's a lot of sameness. So I feel like um, I, I feel like you might have common life history. You might have the same taste in movies, music, etc. And you both are like very similar. And I feel this is a the relationship that is going to lead to marriage. Okay, it has like long term potential. There's a lot of growth, mutual growth and expansion coming through for the both of you. The water bearer is uh, traditionally, you know, like either healer or somebody who dispenses knowledge. And Aquarius uh, specifically are um, great communicators and great people, like people that are very good at, with explanation, sharing knowledge, and they like to disseminate knowledge to the public. So I feel there is a, a, a an energy of like mutual growth between the interaction between you and this person. So they might teach you a lot of things. You might teach them a lot of things. There might be discussions about the occult. There might be discussions about metaphysical, you know, phenomenons, for example. So I see a lot of deep, um, deep emotional discussions between you and this person. And it's really going to be restorative, I feel, mutually from both parties. So for those of you who are, you know, I, I see air sign, water sign um, prominently. I do feel like um, they're saying you need to open yourself up. Don't be on guard. Open yourself up to the possibility of these two people because I feel like they really, really do like you and it has the potential, great compatibility and great like emotional satisfaction here to really work out. And the, the main thing that is of major concern here is for some of you, find that work life, um, private life balance, okay? So your relationship partner doesn't feel neglected because I feel like they need a lot of sp um, they need a lot of alone time. I'm sorry. You might need some alone time. They need a lot of togetherness, especially that water sign. And with the star and also the this air sign, I feel like both of you need to like do a lot of social events together. So you need to find the right balance here. Um, coupled people, I do see a lot of stability here coming back into your life. And I do feel as well, don't let the work situation um, interfere, okay? So I do wish you all the best. Take care of yourself. Enjoy your Thanksgiving for those who are celebrating in um, the U.S., all right? Take care of yourself, Aquarius. I'll be back for the mid-month reading. Enjoy the rest of your November. Bye-bye.